Due to Hibernian's continental exploits, today's game was moved to Sunday, as Motherwell looked to extend their unbeaten run to 8 matches in the league. The cost of today's game is £27.15, with Motherwell's student ticket prices taking a hike to £19. So the time is roughly about 12 o'clock, I am in Motherwell now, uh, already been greeted by a rowdy bunch of Hibs fans on the train, because I of course live in Edinburgh. Uh, the short pitfalls there are. But um, yeah, no, it was a good banner. Um, looking forward to the game. They were all telling me it was going to be four or five nil to Hibs, but we'll we'll see how true that rings by full time. You know, it's, it's a difficult game to quantify here today because, of course, we've got one point. Hibs have zero after the first round of fixtures, and of course, Hibs have always got to have one eye on Thursday night's match against Luton. That is really important for them. So. It wouldn't surprise me if they've changed their starting lineup uh, with the potential of playing against John McGinn and Aston Villa, my English team, in the next round. Um, but aye, it's going to be a really interesting game today. I think there'll be goals in at both ends. But yeah, let's just see what the day brings and just enjoy ourselves. So today we have been joined by Blair. How you doing, mate? I'm good, mate. How's yourself? All good, all good. Ready to take in a... Fun packed afternoon. That, do you know? Do you know? I was actually saying in my video, right? I missed out in the Motherwell v Hibs game last year. It was on a Sunday because I was at the Irish Cup final. I was gutted to miss it because a Sunday afternoon game I always feels a better atmosphere. Oh, right. And today, as soon as I seen this, the fixtures coming out, and I seen this was on a Sunday, I was like, boom. Mate, I was actually had, glad. had to come. Couldn't miss us. Mate, I was in Dumfries yesterday, seeing Cooper Hearts play against Abbeyville in yeah. the Scottish Cup because it's my local team. Uh -huh. uh, so. The fact that this game was moved to a Sunday was bliss for me because I could. Like football, I, yeah. Oh, mate, it was fantastic. A great game. But uh, yeah, today, what do you think? It's going to be a tough one for Motherwell, I think. Hibs just off of an absolutely crazy result against Luzerne, to say the, to say the least. Um, the other night, I think they just clicked, didn't they? Uh, Adam Lafondra, when he came on, just made such a difference. And uh, Vente up front. Ve Vente is a scary uh, player, isn't yeah. he? If he plays a day, I think, I think uh, he's paced. Did you see his pace the other uh, night? I just know. too much to but handle. I think Hibs have got a lot to offer up front and they've yeah. not had that in a while. I, I think it's the type of game where Hibs sit on the counter and yeah. just break us down. Like, yeah. like Usually when we play against Hibs early on in the season, they usually beat us. So I'm hoping it's not going to be like that. But... <laughs> yeah, very good. Here we are, first home game of the season. Hibs at home, on the well. So, prediction today, I'm going to go with a 2 each draw. I don't think either side can really defend very well, and I think it's going to be very open indeed. But, here's hoping that we win, on the well. Come on, come on, keep going. Oh, it's, he's, he's 
shot it. Because he can't use that eight foot. What? What? Really no. No. Nah. That was never a penalty. No way were we getting that. Come on! Come on! Do something, you! Come on, Swati! I feel like I've aged 10 years watching that half. Nothing really worth note happened. I mean, we hit the bar by about five minutes of last time. They went to bar to check for a penalty that we claimed, but it was never a penalty. So it wasn't given. But yeah, it's been a really difficult watch this game. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens in the second half on the bill. Second half about to kick off. Martin Boyle's coming on for Hibs, and so is Adam LaFondra, I think. And that has to be a double change for the visitors, players leaving the field. What? Mike Slattery on the floor? <laughs> Come on. Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh! Just get the ball shot! Oh. Why is he standing like Ronaldo? Oh! Oh! That was an inch perfect cross as well. Welcome to North. And the beaker is coming on.
What a debut for Mika Vera. He came on, he's got an assist and a goal now. It's 2 0 to the well, and we're at home and hose. Three points, fantastic. We'll take that five minutes to go. <laughs> You know, the best thing about sitting in this stand is you get to see all the away fans over there walking home. Wait, there's a bar check, I think. That's not a good sign. Oh, he's going to go check. Yeah, penalty to Hibbs. Oh dear. Squeaky bum time for the last five minutes. Oh, brilliant. No one's bad it. No. <laughs> yeah, take, take the yellow. Come on. Go on, Mika. We can chase him down. Mika. It's away. It's good. Oh, swords. No! No! Well done! Well done! Yeah! yeah! A fantastic result here! 2 1 win against Hibs! Could have thought of anything better to brighten up my weekend! We're still undefeated this season. Nosebleed territory. Folks, hey, come on. Hello, gents. Motherwell 2, Hibiscus 1. Hibiscus 1. <laughs> Motherwell two, Hibernian one. A fantastic result to maintain our unbeaten start to the season. Four points from two games, I'll happily take that. If you'd offered me you know, a tricky trip to Dundee, followed by a tie against a team that's playing in Europe, I think it's a fantastic start to the season. The first half was a non-event. Uh, we hit the bar on the 41st minute and and somehow it went to VAR for a penalty call that we had. It was never a penalty. It wasn't even worth discussing. Uh, the half time came and went. A lot of people would probably say that the first half was boring, but no, I, I think it was more tactical. I think we had to sort of, you know, play the game at a slow pace because if we were going to be very fluid then Hibs could have hit us on the counter attack. I think it was about biding our time until Mika Beareth came on and uh, you know him coming on just ended the game for Hibs really. I mean Hibs didn't offer much at the best of times but I think that's because they have one eye on Thursday night's game against Luzerne and for, for me if I was a Hibs fan if I was offered a victory against Motherwell which you could get three or four times a season or a a win against Luzerne in the Europa Conference League. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, a no, it's a no-brainer, really. The power that Beareth had when he burst into the box and squared it to Wilkinson to make it 1-0, that was, that was fantastic. Like, I haven't seen that much uh, from a player that plays for Motherwell. The raw tributes that Beareth already has, um, I've, I, I don't think SPFL is his level. I think... Like, he he will end up at an English Championship side at least. Because if you look at his goal, like he's running through and he loses the ball, but then wins it back. He still hassles, and you know what? We've had players before that wouldn't go that extra yard to try and win the ball back because he is a pressing forward, and it is absolutely fantastic to see. Like I I love seeing a player run 
himself to the ground to just win the ball back. And not only that, but he beats his man, beats another, checks back, and it looks like the chance is gone. But, you know what, it was worth it. The finish looked even better when he was basically on the turn and shot. It was a fantastic goal, and David Marshall had no chance. But yes, that wasn't all, because we had to give Hibbs a chance to get back into the game, and they got a penalty. You know, LaFondre put it away uh, to make it 2-1, and it was a shaky last couple of minutes, but we got the result, we got it over the line, and we take that to St Mirren away next week. You know, third, third in the league... I'm pretty happy with that after two games. That's a fantastic start. Uh, usually we start slow, so to get as many points on the board as possible right now, it's great. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave a like down below if you want more of the snazzy content. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Take care.